death of reggae legend, A.S. Kimono, came as a rude shock to many yesterday, Sunday, June 10, 2018. ENTV gathered more details on his last moments and how he truly died. How is started? Under pressure we will, under pressure Under pressure black people, under pressure Under pressure Nigerians, under pressure Under pressure Africans, under pressure No food, be we belly No money, in our we pocket No bed, be let we ate The people, they must suffer In a ghetto, in a city Everywhere, that me go We see them, some are cry, some are dying, some are weeping, some are wailing, everywhere, now me go ahead. Kimono's health condition worsened during the week and his supposed trip abroad was cancelled while he was placed on admission at Lagoon Hospital, Lagos, Nigeria. ENTV further gathered that under pressure crooner, before now had a challenge with breathing and was placed on oxygen for a while. Although, Arrangements were in motion to move him to the United States of America for better medical attention before he unfortunately passed away. Previous Health Challenges A close family source disclosed that, pending a formal autopsy report, RIS Kimono had always battled two major issues, his weight and breathing, his last moments. You said the truth, you die. Mm. You lie, you die. Mm. So, so why not speak the truth and die? According Tony Okoroji who was there, I was by his hospital bed at Lagoon Hospital, Ikoi Saturday night before he passed on, on Sunday. Despite his ailment he was in good cheer and we even shared jokes. I spoke to the doctors who expressed the view that he may have passed through the worst. I was at the domestic terminal of the Myrtala Muhammad Airport, Ikja on Sunday when I got the devastating phone call that got me screaming like a madman. I was already checked in for a flight to Oeri. That was the end of the trip and the airline had to go to the aircraft to retrieve my already loaded baggage. Shortly after his death, shortly after he breathed his last at Lagoon Hospital, the remains of the Rub-A-Dub Master, was moved to TOS Funeral Home in Alaza, Ikja, Lagos, for embalmment and other rites, preparatory to his burial. He died on Sunday, June 10, 2018, hailed from Monica Alona in Delta State. Unarguably one of Nigeria's kings of reggae music, his debut album, containing the hit track, Rumba Style, fetched him national acclaim. His second and third albums also didn't do badly. Married to Sybil first and later Fokiti one of daughters, Ogachikuyu is a reggae singer. Under pressure, Africans under pressure, under pressure, Nigerians under pressure.